Okay, a lot of people um, after surgery or before surgery want to modify their weight by avoiding calories. And a good way, good common sense kind of way to avoid calories is to get unsweetened, artificially sweetened or diet foods, right? So I think probably if I have asked this uh, a lot of times, the most common choice of a meal that I have heard from my patients when they go to a fast food restaurant is a Big Mac and fries a with a Diet Coke because I'm watching my weight. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to uh, talk a little bit about a kind of theoretical idea in your mind. I want you to come with me in your mind and I would like to make you the new president of Coca-Cola. Are you happy? Look at look at your can you imagine in your mind this is the secretary's anteroom to your office next door encrusted in gold Coca-Cola bottles and Coca-Cola girls and pool boys come up to do manicures for you and do your hair and take you shopping and right you are the president of Coca-Cola can you imagine that are you with me mm -hmm. all right now, as the new president, you kind of are sitting there for the first day going, I wonder what I should do because I'd like to keep this job. And what does the president do? And you call in the, the president of Diet Coke. Right? You want to say, because Diet Coke is one of your guys. And you say, hello, Mr. President of Diet Coke. And you close the door. And you say, make sure nobody's listening. You say, um, do we know, do we, I mean, do we know whether Diet Coke helps people lose weight? Could you imagine that if you were the president of Coke, you might want to know that? And if you were the president of Diet Coke, don't you think you want to be able to tell somebody the answer to that question? And how would you solve that? You know, maybe you, you hire 20 co-eds from Emory at the university there in Atlanta where the, the headquarters is and you pay them to stay downstairs in the basement of Coca-Cola and half of them drink Diet Coke for a week or a month or six months and the other half drinks regular Coca-Cola. Don't you think that if you were the president of Diet Coke that you would know the answer to that? If you were the president of Coke and the president of Diet Coke didn't know that, wouldn't you fire his butt? Okay, now, have you ever heard the answer to that question? Does Diet Coke help people lose weight? If it did, where do you think you would find that advertisement? Everywhere. Everywhere, right? And, and forgive my language, but every fracking where, right? I mean, here, there, and everywhere. You would see Diet Coke, even if it was five pounds. Susie and the ten people in her group lost five pounds after drinking Diet Coke for one year, and Betty and her group did not, right? If you, if that, if there was any data... that Diet Coke help you lose weight. Do you think that we would hear about it? Mm -hmm. yep. How about Diet 7-Up or Diet Dr. Pepper? But you haven't heard that, have you? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think they found at Purdue University when they gave half of the mice Coca-Cola and half Diet Coke? No difference. The Diet Coke group was fatter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> What do you think happens to mice if you add saccharin to their drinking water? They get heavier. Your brain says, I noticed that you're trying to slip in some sweet taste here today. And I'm missing the calories that should go with this. I'm keeping track. And I want more than that because I'm not happy with you trying to trick me. So diet foods not only don't help you lose weight, they actually make you gain more. So is Diet Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Yogurt, artificially sweetened, no fat, no sugar yogurt, a good choice? The Diet Yogurt. Diet unsweetened, artificially sweetened, no fat yogurt. Is that a good choice? Yes, you say a few of those, not the one. No, I think that all those diet, artificially sweetened, 
chemicals try and trick your brain and you do not help. Okay? Now, so my patients, they get upset. They go, oh, oh my gosh. Are you saying I can't smoke cigarettes or have cigars? Okay, so I'm saying no diet drinks and also no sugary drinks. Well, Dr. Rutledge, I'm not happy. I know life is hard. I personally would love to have coffee, a Diet Coke, and a cigarette right now. If they were found to be healthy, I say we blow clinic now, have a cigarette. Go to the bar. That's right. And have a, I'm ready. I'm with you. I do not like telling you this. I do not like having to drink green tea. But green tea is good for you, and diet foods and diet drinks are not. Diet sweeteners, as far as we know, make you heavier. They do not make you thinner. You may think you're tricking your brain by eating that piece of diet apple pie. Your brain knows what's going on. So you might as well just eat the regular pie and be done with it. No, that. I did not say to eat the regular pie. No, 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 no. If you want to smoke cigarettes, you might as well do that. No, 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 no. What part of no? A sugary piece of pie. Now, now let's start again, though. Is it okay for an MGB patient to have a, a piece of candy or a sugary piece of pie? Absolutely, that's the great part about it. But in general, the foundation of your diet needs to be healthy foods, plant-based, fruit, vegetables, that kind of foods. Now, can you go out and have a piece of greasy pizza or something like that? Absolutely, that is a treat. It's not the foundation of your diet. And, Getting those things in the diet form does not get you off the hook. And in fact, the bad news for you is it may actually be worse. See, because everything is like I can't stay I use equal, low fat, fat Terrible, food, blah, terrible, blah. terrible. Yeah, terrible, terrible, terrible. I wish, I don't want to tell you this, mm -hmm. but if equal caused any weight loss at all, do you think it wouldn't be advertised on the box? Study of 10 women in... Kalamazoo, Michigan, ten housewives were given equal. Remember the tricks when they would trick with a coffee? You go into the restaurant and they would have the fake coffee. They, this is Folgers Instant Crystals or something like that. And they go, I can't believe it. Okay? We would trick half the people and we would give them equal instead of sugar. And at the end of a week or a month or a year, they lost weight. Don't you think you would have heard about that study? Have you heard anything like that? You know why? Because it doesn't help you lose weight. Why do they have it? Because really you it. think it will and you'll pay for it. It seems to make fun. It seems. I'm not arguing that common sense says if you eat fewer calories.